right around 1994, 95, the National Library of Medicine lost the services of a big contractor for the manual entry of citation data from the journal articles, which essentially meant that Medline itself, NLM's flagship database at the time, uh, Medline itself was getting out of date day by day and week by week. And Dr. Lindbergh recognized that that's an untenable situation. So many people in the library pitched in to manually enter the data from the journal articles and so on, but he simultaneously wanted an automated system to do that. And he came up to the 10th floor and asked if it can be done. And of course, of course it can be done. And so we built a system that we call MARS uh, that has lasted 22 years as of the, today. And uh, uh, this is a system that extracts the citation data, author names, title, and so forth, in an automated way so that manual entry is not needed. This is a, the first example, as far as I can see, of machine learning used anywhere at NIH, certainly at NLM. We are now, today, using machine learning techniques, especially the new deep learning models, for a variety of information extraction uh, goals for malaria screening or screening for TB and the like. NLM's goals in information, the extraction, the collection, the dissemination, the storage of information, information is NLM, is mirrored by the uh, work done in extracting information from uh, x-rays or uh, digitized glass slides or tissue images or uh, or full text in books and articles. It's all extracting information for a purpose. The Listerhill Center's mission in that regard, I don't think, has vanished. There is still a lot of opportunity to establish systems that could serve as a prototype and as an example for others to carry on in practical ways, let's say.